Yo, what is up Zombie Nation, it's your boy Dame and welcome back to a brand new episode of your source for COD Zombies news, zombie information and everything that you need to know about zombies. If you enjoy and or make it to the end of this video, please make sure to go down and smack that like button, it would be hella appreciated. If you are new around to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you're not new around here, don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified of exactly of when we upload. All the stories in today's video are quite big stories to be honest, so sit back, hold a tight and without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So the first story today, as you know, the darkest shores, the main easter egg has been completed both on co-op and solo. And to our knowledge, it seems like there's nothing else actually contained within this game. For example, types of Easter eggs. Well, the other day I tweeted at Cameron Dayton. The tweet read, so um, at Cameron Dayton, some questions we ask after the Easter egg has been sold for every DLC. Is there more? And thankfully, we actually got a reply from Cameron Dayton. Now, Cameron Dayton is very, very active on Twitter nowadays. He never was at the beginning of the game, but nowadays he's very active and replies to a lot of people. But he simply replied, Yes. Now, even though he replied yes to the said question, it's very hard to understand what he meant by yes. Even though you think it would be a solid answer, it's kind of quite cryptic, to be fair. Now, as you know, back in Zombies in Spaceland, when we used to ask, you know, the Mecha Lee Ross if there are any more Easter eggs within the map, they usually said yes. And for a prime example, we thought there were Easter eggs in Zombies in Spaceland at the beginning. And they weren't actually there until the last DLC, or they wasn't unlockable until the last DLC. So sometimes when they say yes, it's just to keep us playing. This could also be interpreted as the brand new challenges that has just been released in the Darkest Shore. And I believe there's some for the Final Reich as well. As you may know, the challenges were leaked for the special unlockable characters about three weeks ago but they were not actually able to be unlocked on very rare occasion you could do it but they were locked out of the game well it's just surfaced recently that these have been added into the game and they are now unlockable so we could also be on about those now i'm pretty sure whilst asking such a direct question to cameron dayton he knows exactly what we're talking about when we're asking for easter eggs as far as the darkest shores go, we have not got many easter eggs of inside this game. We have the main easter egg, which is just one easter egg, not casual and hardcore, just one. We also have the wonder weapon build, the wonder weapon upgrade and the wonder weapon pack punch. Now if you compare this map to the final Reich, it's got significantly less easter eggs than the final Reich. The final Reich had the money ball, it had the Treyarch PPSH easter egg as well as the casual easter egg and the hardcore easter egg and the darkest shore simply has the main easter egg and the ripsaw upgrade and that's pretty much it to now so take it as you will i feel like there should be more in this map again he could have been insinuating about many things or just getting us to play the game even more but it seems like there are more easter eggs to be found in the darkest shore the next story today is a pretty exciting story and it was made and created by somebody in the community Glitching Queen. Glitching Queen for the past couple of years has been trying to make a national day for zombies. That day being the 15th of January. Back on January the 16th, she posted out a tweet that read, I have submitted the application to have National Zombies Days as an officially recognised day. We will wait and see and if they say anything this year. She's been trying this for a few years so she applies every year. And out of the 20,000 applicants, only 30 are selected. Well, Glitching Queen posted on her Twitter back at the end of January and it was accepted. She posts out a tweet and it reads, yay, we got it. For two years, I've been trying to seal the deal on getting us January 15th as National Zombies Day. With everyone's help and all the tweets today, I got the acceptance and approval. I think we are official now. There is an official Zombies National Day and it was to the thanks of people from the YouTube Zombies community, which is pretty insane. I don't know how this works, I don't know if it's going to be set in place for next year, but if it is, January 15th is now National Zombies Day, so we are going to have to be doing something very special on this particular day. Also in the news, Call of Duty 2019. Yes, I know Black Ops 4 has not even been out yet and we've not even got any official confirmation, though it's kind of been confirmed. We have got some news on the development of Call of Duty 2019. Lee Ross, yes, you all know the cool looking sunglasses emoji king himself, posted a tweet on his Twitter and it reads, 
I keep getting asked, so here goes. The team and I are all well underway and very excited for what we got cooking, but nothing to share for a while. Besides, you've all got lots of World War II to play, and I know the three arc is going to bring the heat. So get out there and kill some zombies. Cool looking sunglasses emoji. Man, I miss saying that. Hashtag 2019. <laughs> what does this confirm? Pretty much nothing, to be honest. It didn't really confirm anything. It just confirms the fact that they are in the process and working on already Infinity Ward's next installment of Call of Duty for 2019. Can we speculate on what this is going to be? I have said in the past, I have made a video, I will link that on screen now, about a possibility of Infinite Warfare 2. But there is also a high, high possibility that they could also bring back Modern Warfare for a Modern Warfare 4. Modern Warfare 3, I believe, was one of the most sold Call of Duty games ever in Call of Duty history and that is pretty much where it stops. It's kind of odd to say we could be going back to Modern Warfare. I've got to be honest, myself, I would not want to go back. The community does scream and cry for innovation every single year, yet when a game innovates itself like Infinite Warfare did, people do nothing but cry and moan about it, which is very sad to see and everybody wants to go back to boots on the ground, which is not very innovative at all. There is only so much you can do with boots on the ground for the likes of innovation. I'm trying to think of ideas now, there's not really an awful lot apart from specialist classes, which is not innovative at all. It's all repetitive from the years before. And I do believe to get World War II boots on the ground, Black Ops 4 supposedly is going to be boots on the ground and then Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare 4 boots on the ground, I think it's just going to get too repetitive. It would be nice to have jetpacks for one of these years out of the three year rotation of Treyarch, Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward. It would still be nice to get jetpacks for one of those games because they are missed by some of us, me included, I do enjoy the jetpacks. But nonetheless, when we're talking about zombies, it's always boots on the ground unless it's Advanced Warfare and that was an exception. But please do let me know in the comments down below what do you prefer and what do you think will be coming. I'd like to know if you prefer Modern Warfare 4 compared to Infinite Warfare 2. And I'd also like to know if you would like boots on the ground or jetpacks for Call of Duty 2019. The next story today, I'm going to make this a quick one. There's not a lot to talk about this one, but Lee Ross did post another tweet on his Twitter recently and it reads, I kept this hidden for quite a while, not allowing anyone to see it. At times, artists had no idea why they had to place these symbols throughout their work. I had so much fun doing this. Cool looking sunglasses emoji, hashtag sneaky dev, hashtag IW zombies. If you are unsure what you are looking at right now, this was what was coined the devil's alphabet in Infinite Warfare. It's what they would use to cipher their particular codes about the game and it was involved in many of the Easter eggs. The actual Easter egg is called, by the way, we have an official name for the actual language, it's called the unspoken. This is a very, very bit of cool information that Lee's posted out. If you look very closely at the actual writing, it seems like the artwork inside the game was ripped straight from this piece of paper. Everything looks exactly the same as what was in the game. If you can compare the alphabet to the alphabet that was in the actual game, I swear they just photocopied it from this, enlarged it and put it in digital form looks just like it. Thought it was a cool little story, not much to say about it apart from that we have an official name for it now which is called The Unspoken. And the last story today everybody is talking about it so your boy better mention it. A Black Ops 4 has been confirmed. It has not been confirmed by Treyarch themselves but it has been confirmed by very very reliable sources throughout the community. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I expect you guys are pretty bored of hearing the same repetitive story over and over again Again, but I will fly through all the details we know so far. Marcus Steller. Marcus Steller has been known to leak games and information about games in the past and has been correct more or less the majority of the time. He posted out a tweet that reads, COD 2018 is Black Ops 4 and is coming to PS4, Xbox, PC and Switch. It is set in the modern times, which we kind of already know, and it's going to be boots on the ground, no jetpacks, sorry jetpack fans. The Switch version will support DLC, HD rumble and motion controls. The Switch version is also being ported by a company which is familiar with COD games. Now that tweet was actually posted on February the 4th. He has since made another kind of tweet within the last 24 hours. 
he was applying to a YouTube recorded chaos silencer and he just wrote hashtag black ops 4 so he is uh, dropping the hint like a bombs right now but that's not where the confirmation or confirmation of the information actually stops we have also had confirmation from a very reputable gaming news website called euro gamer they have an article that reads sources this year's card is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 by Tom Phillips and it reads this year's Call of Duty game is Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Multiple sources have confirmed to Eurogamer. Black Ops 4 is in development at Treyarch, the Activision studio behind the three other Black Ops games and as you would expect is due for launch late in the year. The Black Ops storyline so far has covered the Cold War, near future and future time period in 2065. In particular, Black Ops 3 had a fully sci-fi focus, something which Black Ops 4 will dial back to better fit the series. Recent desire for a more grounded feeling in response to the negative feedback surrounding the 2016's space set Infinite Warfare. What I try and say here is Black Ops 3 is still going to be a little too far in the future so they're going to try and fit it in probably somewhere in between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3. Time set yet we are not sure. I hope you don't go anywhere before that because we've got World War 2 as it is. Again within this actual article they quote Marcus Steller's tweet but they also have their own sources as well which they are not going to let any of us know about. There is also some information as well from Sergeant Frank Woods over on Twitter who was a character in the Black Ops series which has led to a bit of a backlash by him himself. He quoted one of his own tweets where he said it's a bit early for the official leak faucet to start dripping but in the past the pipes have been compromised and smart folks do piece together the available intel in surprising ways. You might want to go to the X-Files on this at James C. Burns. James C. Burns is the voice actor for Sergeant Frank Woods. Well, Sergeant Frank Woods quoted this and he said, Okay, this tweet is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Smart people are piercing intel together in surprising ways and not too surprising ways. Stop using it as a leak. It's not <laughs> at James C. Burns. Sergeant then goes on to say, and just to be clear, I said I, at James C. Burns, do not have a role in this year's card. I did not say there would be no Sergeant Frank Woods. That character belongs to Freearch. They can easily recast if they want to assume nothing. He's basically backing up his words here. Sergeant Frank Woods and James C. Burns cannot say anything about Call of Duty or Black Ops 4. If he does, he will be in serious trouble with the law, with all the NDAs that he's probably signed in the past. So for the community to say that he's leaking things is, is a bit ludicrous, to be honest. It's kind of ludicrous. So James C. Burns, aka Sergeant Frank Woods, is backing up his statement here that he was not hinting about anything. He was just making a point that the community are quite clever and they can find sources from different areas around the web. And unfortunately, that's all the stories for today's video. Content and uploads and streaming has been slim on the channel. I know some of you understand why, but if you don't, hold tight, I'm trying to bring them back as much as I can. And in the near future, we shall be back to our daily upload routine. As always, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smack that like button. I need your emblems of the day, please. If you got some awesome emblems made in World War II, please make sure to tweet me at DamonNetGame and use the hashtag hashtag emblem of the day the winner will be featured in one of my zombie news videos don't go downloading and stealing everybody else's okay i want to see your emblem editor for you to be able to win a spot on the video but homies you've been absolutely awesome but this has been another episode of your source for cod zombies news zombie information and everything that you need to know about zombies and until the next video it's your boy dame and i'm out